mixed messages on travel rules for fully vaccinated people spark confusion among travelers and local governments over requiring a negative COVID-19 test result instead of a vaccination card. Our Rex Remitio reports. To undergo a swab test or not? This is the question bothering passengers bound for Bicol at the Paranaque Integrated Terminal Exchange. Camarines Sur bound Erlinda Perino has been fully vaccinated. She thought she just had to present her vaccination card and need not undergo a swab test based on what she heard from the Interagency Task Force's earlier announcement on television. She's surprised when she got at the bus terminal that she has to undergo antigen tests so she can travel. Kasi sa balita ni Harry Roque, ano na daw? Pwede na daw mag, ano, magbiyahe. Eh di, sa bagay sir, nung ano, paplano-plano pa lang, nung nagsabi si Harry Roque, ay salamat ka ko. Eh tapos nung nagbili ako ng ticket, kailangan pa daw ng swab. Bali, wala pala ka ko ito. Anong klase ito? Complete na ako. Legaspi City bound Lani Baliktar is also confused. She's concerned about the costly antigen test, a hefty 850 pesos. Misan maglo kasi yung mga ano misan ng government, yung mga sinasabi nila, misan di, lalo na kami may mga edad kami, misan din na namin maintindihan. The PITX management explains they just implement IATF's policies as provincial travelers pass by the terminal. They admit having a hard time over the changing travel requirements. And when the IATF announced the scrapping of swab testing as travel requirement, they had to coordinate with local governments. But as it turned out, some LGUs opposed the rule. For one, hospitals in some provinces are not well equipped to respond to the surge of COVID cases. Ang sinasabi natin sa mga pasahero, mabuti na yung sundin muna nila yung mga testing na sinaad noon upang sigurado silang tatanggapin ng mga kinauukulang LGU. We spoke to some local governments like Catanwanes. An official says they're also confused over the ever-changing travel rules, but adds they have to obey, especially since complaints were filed against them before the Interior Department. They also have yet to devise a system to validate vaccination cards, which can be fake. Babago na naman kami ng EO, babago na naman kami ng policy. So, siguro right now we are at a point that we are confused. Um, but, yun nga po, we are left with no system to follow yung guidelines. That's why for both the PITX and the Catanduanes government, they're advising travelers not to go to provinces unless necessary and have themselves tested if they really need to go home. They're also hoping for clearer announcement of IATF travel policies. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.